Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the uh, bonus love reads, the series that I've started. I will be doing this reading for the sign of Leo. Topic of the reading is going to be will they call or text? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, you really want to know if this person is going to call you up or you know text you up or not. Then this reading is definitely going to help you find the answer to that. Maybe you are in no communication, maybe you have broken up, maybe you want this person to call you up, maybe you want this person to uh, text you up and you don't know if they will or they won't. We are going to find the answer to that in this reading and plus we will be adding Oracle cards as well. So stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you it's a general reading if and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs, messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So Leos, let's see whoever it is that you wish to uh, message you or call you up. Will this person call you or text you up? Yes or no? You do have the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Right now, it seems like you know this person is indecisive. They really want to come forward. They really want to reach out to you. But then there are some blocks which stop this person. These blocks are definitely um, self-imposed ones. This is not something that they are unable to do so or they cannot do so. They cannot reach you out or they cannot talk to you. It's more like you know they, these blocks that this person is dealing with is mental blocks. Um, maybe they want to reach out to you, but then they feel like, you know, uh, if they reach out, maybe their ego is going to get hurt. Maybe they have those kind of issues. Maybe they are narcissist. Maybe they have those uh, serious issues when it comes to their ego and uh, stuff like that. Uh, maybe they want to be in control of this connection. So they could, uh, they could be like, you know, maybe even if they are missing you, even if they're wanting to talk to you, they are still holding themselves back. But with the two of pentacles, they are having some inner conflict. Their mind says no, their heart says yes. So let's see who is going to win, their mind or their heart. Will he, will he or she, uh, you know, going to message you or call you up, yes or no? They are feeling a pull towards you though. Uh, they really want to because they feel that you are the one that they want. As in, they do feel attracted towards you as well. So um, let's see will he or she call you up or text you up yes or no let's give it one more shuffle and let's begin will they call you up or will they uh, text you up yes or no six of pentacles huh it seems like you know they might have been uh, having the control and the situation in this connection maybe it has always been the case where you have been begging for attention from this person and now maybe um maybe you have stopped talking to this person because uh, they were not giving you time now what they are thinking is um uh, if i reach out then you will be on my place and i will be on your place i will be begging for attention which i don't want to uh, and you will be uh, having upper hand in the connection so i feel like your person is the egoistic for sure they have ego issues that's the reason why they are not coming forward the other thing which is stopping them could be that they don't have much time to give um, maybe they have work, maybe they have family, maybe they have other things and they find that they have no much time for uh, for you. So maybe that could also be one of the reasons, even though they miss you, even though they want to talk to you, but then they feel like maybe I will not be able to do justice to you. So there could be both the scenarios for some of you. Maybe it's a narcissist attitude um, or an ego issue of a person that you are dealing with, or it can be them thinking that I don't have enough time. I will not be able to do justice to you. So it can be both. Uh, let's see more cards. They do have love for you though. Um, so maybe they really want to do justice to you. That could be the case for majority of you. Maybe they, they feel that you, they will not be able to do justice to you if they, call, if they call you up or if they text you up. And if they don't stay in touch with you again, it will be like, a, like you know, as if... A, um, it's, it's going to be more like, you know, if they are gifting you something and then they're taking the gift back. So it's going to be more of that situation where you're going to feel happy. Oh my God, they messaged me or they called me and then nothing. So basically they don't have much to offer, much to give. Uh, maybe that's the reason why they're holding themselves back because uh, they, they cannot offer you much right now. Let's see more cards here. Devil. The hangman. Now one more thing is holding this person back. Um, their addiction. They are somebody who, uh, who, who could be extremist. 
uh, for instance, if they are working, they are working diligently, they are working 100%, they are into it, they are invested into it, and that's how they go about it. If they are with you, they have to be with you. So once they, they decide they want you, they want you and you only. If they are working, if they are you know busy with something, some, some targets, some responsibilities, they want to give their all to that. Maybe this person could be somebody who has been always very uh, restrictive in terms of this much time is for you, this much time is for family, this much time for this and that. So that if that's your person, I feel like you know they, they feel like you know they don't have enough time in their life right now to fit you in. Now, if that's the case, uh, they, they might be missing you, but they are not uh, reaching you out because they cannot do justice to you. They cannot uh, spare time for you. So maybe that's the reason why they are not reaching out to you right now, but they will. Once they get time, once they get free, once they have, uh, you know, once they feel that they will be able to spare time for you, they will be reaching out to you. Until unless that time, they will not. Let's see more clouds here. Knight of Swords, yes, they will. Eventually they will, uh, but yes. Right now, I feel like you know your person is definitely uh, missing you, thinking about you, feeling attracted towards you. Uh, but at the same time, they are not going to be taking any action towards you. They're not going to make any move towards you. Um, they would love it if you if you message them, if you call them up, but they will not. It seems like they uh, they really will not because they don't have. Um, they, they don't have much to offer. Why would they call you up? Like, you know, if, if they call you up and then uh, obviously if, if they call you up, you would expect them to stay in touch. You would expect them to be with you. Right now, they cannot afford that. That's the reason why they are not um, calling you up or texting you up. They really need some more time. Uh, but yes, once they are done with it, they will be calling you up. They will be texting you up. Now, how long would that take? That's another question. We are not going to take cards for that. But uh, yeah, let's see what the Oracle has to offer. What is the Oracle guidance around it? Broken arrow, embrace energy of peace. Whatever the current situation is, try to embrace that and let things be. Don't try to resist. Don't try to push things and let things flow. When the time is right, it will happen. Uh, while you wait, maybe you can, you know, it's, it's your call, your choice. You know, if you really love this person, maybe you would choose to wait on for them. If you are okay to move on and if you think that this person is somebody that... Uh, uh, that has never valued you and if this person is an egoist for you or if this person is a narcissist for you then maybe you can choose to move on uh, or at least have have peace with the with the current situation because this person is not going to give you much in this current situation you will have to be on the waiting side uh, let's see more cards try to have peace from within around the situation arrow surround yourself with protective energy it's very important for you to have the clarity what do you want and then protect your energy, not let uh, yourself go down or, you know, let don't let the current circumstances bog you down, basically. So, yeah, let's see one more card here. Let's see what else do we have for you guys. Forgiveness. Try to forgive yourself and for, forgive this person. Maybe you need to heal. Maybe you need to calm down. Maybe you need to embrace, like I said earlier, uh, the current situation. And uh, you can manifest whatever you want. If you, if you want things to pace up, maybe you can use the tools and techniques to go go about it. But at the same time, it's very important for you to have peace from within. Whatever the current situation is, your person has love for you, which is very evident. But at the same time, they don't have much to offer to you. They do feel addicted to you as well. But yes, now you will question, like, you know, if this is called addiction, then uh, what, what, uh, what will be like, uh, you know, a person when, is, uh, when that person is not interested? It's, it's a different scenario. Your person seems to be very practical that way. Like, you know, it's a, uh, it's a person who is, uh, um, maybe they are workaholic and they are, like I said, they are extremists. You know, when they are doing this, they are doing this. When they are doing that, they are going to do that. So that's how they go about it. So yeah, there you go, workaholic. <laughs> that's exactly what your person is. Um, that best defines your person, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope it was of help and if it did, uh, do like, share and subscribe. But yes, I feel like your person is not going to reach out to you anytime soon. But yes, once they get done with it, they will. So yeah, till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.